Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome back to another Space Games video. Today we're spotlighting another amazing creation off the workshop. This time it's the ACI Valiant Carrier. And it's vanilla, yes we love vanilla builds. Because you know mods slow the game down and everything, but you know vanilla is epic. I always love seeing amazing creations of vanilla because it show really shows people's creativity. And I'm not saying building with mods isn't showing creativity, it's just even better when it's in vanilla because you're doing it with a core game, not add-ons. Anyway, this build is by Killian Medlock. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It'll be in the it'll be on screen now or before this, so you can see how it's spelled. So the AC Valiant class destroyer or carrier, I think he's meant to put there because I think there's another class destroyer yeah, produced by Eris Combat Industries. That's obviously what ACI stands for. Uh, there's a little bit about the ACI Industries. You guys can go read that for yourself rather than me sitting and reading it to you. Ship details, the name is Valiant, the class is a carrier, it is 5 million in mass and a few other numbers. A block count is 5,720. The weapon systems, 4 missile turrets, 12 Gatling guns, 2 medical bays, 2 assemblers, oxygen generators, uh, 4 oxygen generators, 1 remote control, 2 jump drives and 1 gravity generator. And his little tagline here is Ares Combat Industries, built to serve. I love that title, that's really cool. So, PS, the Valiant comes with two different attack modes, attack mode on and attack mode off. Attack mode on activates welders and turrets around the ship, repairing decoys that draw the enemy's fire when damaged. In addition to that, the welders now repair some turrets around the ship. Attack mode off turns off the whole sequence. And he's also got some fighter craft, a best use of his carrier. Anyway, we're going to do the observer level, or the outside bit, looking around. Now, the design I really like from this was this sort of slanted bit here. Almost reminds me of a Halo bit in a while, because I think the UNS or some of the UNSC ships, like the Halcyon class or the Marathon class, had armor slopes like this sloping over each other. And it's really a design I want to try out in some of the builds of mine coming soon, especially the RWI ones. Now, this bit of intrusion out of the armor play or the sloped armor placing here is really good as well. I really do like that. And then you've got these slats that come out both sides here and further up as well. It kind of builds more of a profile of a ship, because you're not just going with like the unified design, it's like splitting out and going along. And obviously the turrets are mounted here, and you've got your airlock here. Amazing. Also got a lot of cameras across the ship. Now the best thing I do like about Killian ships, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, is these bridges here. Nearly every one of his ships from the ACI collection has this sort of type of bridge on it. It gives me a Star Wars feel. Now although it's not a bridge, there's, there's nothing in it, we can't sit in it, it almost gives me a Star Wars feel as in the command bridge, isn't it? You've got, it's basically like a data center really, you've got antennas, these could be antennas, that's maybe what it's meant to replicate up here. You've also got cameras, is there a sensor around the back? No there isn't, I thought it was a sensor around the back. It's almost like a miniature data sensor, you can't go in it, but it's there on top, just like what it's meant to be. Got these lights around the side here, I really do like it when it's sort of like, it's minimal design, like minimal effort has gone into it, but it brings out quite a lot more to the ship, it adds to the ship, in my opinion. More turrets there obviously. Now the engines on this ship, I love the way the engines are laid out. Yeah, you could say it's standard, but it does look cool the way it's been laid out. Also get your antennas back here, there's two of them there. And it's sort of dorsal fin, not dorsal fin, the backwards fin here with a camera on the back. So you can see where you're going. Underneath, if we move underneath, you've got this sort of open section here. I thought, personally, I thought this would be filled in a bit more, but I do like it being kept empty there. Builds more to the profile of a ship. Also got this very unique design, uh, well I've not seen this before, I've seen types of designs like this, but not this specific one of like the thruster. I do like this and I would hopefully like to use it on some future builds of my own. Moving along, we have this sort of area here where it's got more thrust hidden, again with this sort of sloped angular design. Obviously you've got this black fin running up through the ship. Another camera here so we can see what's underneath. Basically the bridge inside this ship is very hidden inside it so you need a lot of cameras to see it around. Actually you're not really going to get anywhere. Anyway, if we start off in the front of a ship, so let's go. Let's drop my character off. There we go. Oh, did he? Hello. There we go. Why oh, am I holding a grinder? Anyway, this is obviously the part of the carrier, the flight deck. Now, I think the fighters, I don't know how many you can store in here. Is it say on the page here? Does it say? How many fighters can we store? No, it doesn't actually show. Okay, what about the picture? I think, hmm. Judging from that, we could store one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've s I'm going to say seven, because I don't know. Well, to be honest, it depends on how wide your fighter is, really. If you have really sleek ones, you could probably fit three of them here on these lines. I know uh, the Sabre class fighter I have can probably fit three here. So yeah. I really do like the way this hangar is designed as well. It's very... I don't want to describe it as... human sort of feel, I guess. These slats up here and everything. 
it's not just all design drama, it's got these slats in it to create like filters or just graded metal in a way. Obviously there's an observer deck up here of like a, is that like a mini server room inside or something like that? It's obviously timer blocks. So yeah. Batteries here, I do like this like design here. Not entirely sure why you didn't put batteries there, but it does look good. Now I believe one of these buttons, this one depressurizes it. Yeah, I think we've depressurized it. Oh, the lights come on. Uh, let's pressurize. I don't know, presume this is pressurize. Okay, the door's down there, locking. I like the alarm sounds. Obviously, it's vanilla space in here, but very cool when you walk down here and hear the sounds. Right, everything's been pressurized. Let's go throughout the ship. Obviously, you've got another door over there as well. And obviously, these doors are like auto locking as well. So if I just leave that here, it should lock itself. There we go. I do like that fact. Uh, yeah, another door over here. So that's signposted to the hangar. Medical room, medical room 2. Pretty simple medical room. Another pretty simple medical room. Uh, engineering is straightforward. Server room is either way. Command bridge, gyroscopics, cryogenics, and auxiliary reactor. Let's go take a look in here. So this is the engineering. Oh, I like the way this is laid out. Yeah, it's quite cool. You've got your stats up here as well. Using a master script. Two giant reactors, and I believe it's one jump drive here. And another behind it, I think. Yeah, there should be another behind it. I presume it is. It said two jump drives. That looks pretty cool. Moving onwards, let's go up this way. Car containers here and another oxygen vent. These oxygen generators as well, ah. Then we've got a nice little observer, well, like an observatory deck of the hangar bay down there. So you can imagine just standing up here, seeing everyone down there running around, manning fighters and stuff. It does look really cool. I'm actually really liking this carrier design. So there's stairs up there, I'll check it out in a minute. So here's the other observer deck, down on the hangar bay again. What does this say? Oh, this is the airlock, isn't it? I wonder where that was. Ah, cool. Now, so you've got these timer blocks here, which is really cool. I like having them open like this, because on my ship, I usually hide them. I don't like looking at them. Now, up here, uh, what have we got? Server room command bridge, gyroscopics, cryogenics, and auxiliary reactors. Ooh, I like this design. So I looked around this earlier, but I really love this design here. These grated things going with the gyroscopes and coming with the ceiling really builds like shit for me, I think. Just to be able to walk through it like this. It does look super cool. Moving through, we've got the cryogenics area. Lots of cryobots, so we can store 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I probably read out that earlier, but there we go. I believe this is auxiliary control. Yes, we've even got a little cockpit in here to command stuff with. I don't see you piloting a ship from this one personally, but there's auxiliary reactors here. I think this is on his last ship as well. And I'll see some stats. I really wish he'd get rid of that highlight. So yeah, that's auxiliary control. Cryogenics and gyroscopics. It's quite a cool word, gyroscopics. Hmm, good word. And obviously that leads down to where we were a minute ago, or like it's basically opposite to that side. Server room command bridges. Oh, I like this. Now this is something. Oh, I've been pushed forward slightly. Let's just take a screenshot of that. Now that looks pretty cool. I like that. All your programmable locks. Now this is like a CIC slash bridge. It's basically a bridge. You've got all your stats here and everything. I really like it. This design in particular here, this sort of thing. I've not... I probably have seen this on a ship before, but I really like this idea of a sloped angular design. Excuse me. It really does look something special. Anyway. Uh, oh, ignore this down here. I was trying to get a glimpse of what this block was because I couldn't quite see earlier, but it's a remote control for autopilot and stuff. So yeah, we hop in the seat. And yeah, this is The Valiant Carrier by Killian Medlock. Yep, I'm definitely just checking out what's his actual name. Is there anything else I missed out on here? Uh, fighter craft best suited for Valiant. What's this? The fighter craft best suited is the F-7 Avenger Fighter Bomber. That is quite a cool fighter. You guys check that one out as well. It's on the Valiant page, you can go take a look at it. So yeah, looking at our helm, we've got attack mode on. Which is this one, I presume. Yes. And attack mode off, which is number two. So that's quite a cool feature. I do like these features. I don't know what three and four are meant to be. It didn't load in for me, so I presume they're nothing. Airlock oh, these are meant to turn airlocks on and off, but they're not working for some reason. No, is there another one here? No, I guess they must have been deleted or something. Merge blocks. You can do everything with merge blocks. Camera 7 is uh, the left side of a bridge. 
Well, hey. And eight is the right side of a bridge. Well, hey. And number nine is autopilot. Obviously, we can't do anything when autopilot is able, but you can probably plot a course. Let's disable that. So, yes, this is the Valiant Carrier. It's an amazing build, and it really gives back... One thing I forgot to point out. This purely uses ion thrusters. It's no hydrogen or atmospheric, so it's basically a space-faring ship. And it's awesome to see just ion thruster builds these days. They used to be all over the workshop, obviously, because that's the only thruster we had. But since the introduction of hydrogen atmospheric, you see these combined builds, which really, for me, it loses sort of a vanilla space engineer's feel. Vanilla space, for me, always had ion thrusters, and that was it. We only had that, unless you wanted a more stuff in, like Sage's thrusters or something, but those were still original. So, it really is interesting when you just see just ion thrusters for a while. It does look pretty cool. Then again, you do lose the ability to go into atmosphere and stuff like that, and be faster, such and such. But this really brings back a vanilla sort of feel to me, and you'd expect to see this ship in like the vanilla game. Obviously, like in the game itself, as a ship you can encounter. We're pretty cool. Anyway guys, I hope you liked checking out the ship. Sorry there's no crash test or battle test today. It's only got minimal weapon systems, so I didn't feel the need for a battle test really. I didn't think it suited that personally. But if you want a battle test, I'm sure we can get one sometime. Crash test, nothing to crash it into. Right? Crashing it into a planet, yeah, might have been worth it, but I didn't really feel like doing that. Anyway, for the next video on Friday, I hope you guys look forward to it. It's awesome, and hopefully it'll be an amazing series. I'm Cam Jack, thank you for watching this video. Check out the build on the workshop, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Good day.